Today's lesson is on parallel lines and triangles. Take a minute to read over the learning goal and scale. Find where you are on the scale before we start the lesson. The sum of the angle measures of a triangle is always the same. To prove this, we will need to use parallel lines. Take a look at the parallel postulate. Through a point, not on a line, there is one and only one line parallel to a given line. There is exactly one line through point P that is parallel to line L. Now let's look at the triangle angle sum theorem. The sum of the measures of the angles of a triangle is always 180 degrees. So the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C will equal 180. The proof of the triangle angle sum theorem requires an auxiliary line. An auxiliary line is the line that you add to a diagram to help explain relationships and proofs. The red line in the diagram is an auxiliary line. To prove the triangle angle sum theorem, we're going to start with the given triangle ABC. We are then going to draw an auxiliary line through point B that is parallel to side AC using the parallel postulate. For step two, we're going to look at angle PBC and angle three as being supplementary. Since they form a linear pair, they are supplementary. By the definition of supplementary angles, the measure of angle PBC plus the measure of angle three equals 180. By the angle addition postulate, the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle 2 equals the measure of angle PBC. Now, let's substitute the measure of angle 1 and the measure of angle 2 for the measure of angle PBC, and we will state that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 equals 180 degrees. That's the substitution property. In step 6, I know that angle 1 is congruent to angle A, and angle three is congruent to angle C because alternate interior angles are congruent when we have parallel lines. Since line PR is parallel to line AC, our alternate interior angles are congruent. For step seven, the measure of angle one is equal to the measure of angle A, and the measure of angle three is equal to the measure of angle C because congruent angles have equal measures. Finally, we will use the substitution property and state that the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle C equals 180 degrees. In example 1, we will use the triangle angle sum theorem. When we know the measure of two angles of a triangle, we can use the triangle angle sum theorem to find the measure of that third angle. So if we look at triangle ABD, we know the measure of angle A is 59 degrees, we know the measure of angle ABD is 43 degrees, and we're looking for the measure of angle BDA. However, since this is a triangle, I know that 59 plus 43 plus X will equal 180. Let's start by writing our geometry equation first. Now, Let's substitute 59 degrees in for the measure of angle A, 43 degrees in for the measure of angle ABD, and X in for the measure of angle BDA. We'll combine like terms and get 102 plus X equals 180. Now we'll use the subtraction property of equality and subtract 102 from both sides. X will equal 78. Since angle ADB and angle BDC form a linear pair, we know that X plus Y will equal 180 as well. Let's substitute 78 in for X, so 78 plus Y will equal 180. By using the subtraction property of equality, we'll subtract 78 from both sides, and Y will equal 102. Now we've found the value for X and Y. Pause the video and do you try number one. Remember, the value for x was 78 and the value for y was 102. Since we know y has a value of 102, we now know two angle measures 
for triangle BDC. Let's start by writing our triangle angle sum theorem, saying that the measure of angle DBC plus the measure of angle BDC plus the measure of angle C equals 180. Now let's substitute 49 for the measure of angle DBC, 102 for the measure of angle BDC, and Z for the measure of angle C. Now we'll combine like terms to get 151 plus Z equals 180. We'll use the subtraction property of equality to subtract 151 from both sides and we will get Z equals 29. Of course we should always check by adding 29 degrees plus 49 degrees plus 102 degrees to see if we get 180 degrees for this triangle. Since we do, we know we are correct. An exterior angle of a polygon is an angle formed by a side of the triangle and an extension of an adjacent side. For each exterior angle of a triangle, the two non-adjacent interior angles are its remote interior angles. In each of the triangles below, angle 1 is the exterior angle, and angles 2 and 3 are angle 1's remote interior angles. The triangle exterior angle theorem states the relationship between an exterior angle and its two remote interior angles. Here, if you notice, the triangle exterior angle theorem states that the measure of angle 1, the exterior angle, is equal to the sum of its two remote interior angles. So if I add angle 2 measure to angle 3's measure, I will get the measure of angle 1. We can use the triangle exterior angle theorem to find angle measures faster than using the linear pair. In example 2, we will use the triangle exterior angle theorem. Let's look at part A. We want to know the measure of angle 1. Since angle 1 is an exterior angle, we know it has the same measure as the sum of its remote interior angles, 80 degrees and 18. So let's start by writing that equation. So the measure of angle 1 equals 80 plus 18, or 98. In part B, we want to find the measure of angle 2. Since angle 2 is a remote interior angle, of the exterior angle 124 degrees, we know that 124 degrees will equal the sum of 59 and the measure of angle 2. So let's write that equation. Now let's use the subtraction property of equality to subtract 59 from both sides. So the measure of angle 2 will equal 65. Pause the video and do you try number 2. It may be helpful for you to draw this triangle Two angles of a triangle measure 53. What is the measure of an exterior angle at each vertex of the triangle? Let's start by drawing a triangle. Now, let's extend each side of the triangle so we have three exterior angles. We know two of the measures of the angles of the triangle are 53 degrees, so let's go ahead and write that in. The two 53 degree angles would be the remote interior angles for this angle, so let's call this angle 1. We know that the measure of angle 1 will equal 53 plus 53. So the measure of angle 1 is 106 degrees. Now, let's take a look down here. I know that both of these angles form a linear pair. So 53 plus, let's call this angle 2, will equal 180. We'll use the subtraction property of equality to subtract 53 from both sides, and the measure of angle 2 will equal 127 degrees. Since these two angles are congruent, their supplements will also be congruent. So this angle, we'll call it angle 3, will also have a measure of 127 degrees. So the measures of the exterior angles of this triangle are 106 degrees, 127 degrees, and 127 degrees. In example 3, we will apply the triangle theorems. When radar tracks an object, the reflection of signals off the ground can result in clutter. Clutter causes the receiver to confuse the real object with its reflection, called a ghost. At the right, there is a radar receiver at A and an airplane at B and the airplane's ghost at D. What is the value of X? Since angle BCD 
is an exterior angle to triangle ABC, I know that 80 will equal the sum of angle B and angle A. So let's write that equation. To find the value of x, we will use the subtraction property of equality and subtract 30 from both sides. Since 50 equals x, the answer to our question is b. Pause the video and do you try number 3. Can you find the measure of angle A without using the triangle exterior angle theorem? Explain. Sure. We know that the measure of angle BCD plus the measure of angle BCA will equal 180. That tells me that 80 plus Y will equal 180. So by the subtraction property of equality, the measure of angle BCA or the value of Y is 100. Since the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle BCA equals 180, I can write the equation 30 plus X plus 100 equals 180. Combine like terms to get 130 plus X equals 180. Use the subtraction property of equality to subtract 130 from both sides and X will equal 50. Either way, we got the same answer for the measure of angle A. Now is your chance to see how well you understood this lesson. Pause the video and complete the lesson check. Don't forget to check your answers on the next slide. How'd you do? If you missed any and you're unsure why, make sure you ask me tomorrow in class. All right, now give the challenge a shot. I'm pretty sure you can do it if you apply what you've just learned. Take another minute to reread the learning goal on the scale. Have you climbed up the scale since watching the video and doing all the U-tries?